Shar Margolis, Shar Communications Incorporated, and Shar Vision LLC do not endorse or offer for any purpose but entertainment the views of any guest or other expert on Shar Vision or UBN. I knew things before they happened from the time I was a child. At the age of eight, I saw a spirit at the foot of my bed and didn't know what it was. And in my 20s, I finally realized I had a special ability that could help others. I have learned that love never dies. There is a spirit world that can communicate with us, and we all have the gift of intuition. Join me, and together we will explore the possibilities of the unknown from beyond and more. This is Shar Vision. Hey everybody, it's Shar and Sunny, Sunny and Shar, and today is November 9th, 2018, in case you're watching this on YouTube because we're going to do callers later. And when I say you can call in now for readings, then you're going to be disappointed because if it's not November 9th, 2018, you're going to have to like wait till the next Friday night at UBN where I do Char Vision. And we're always on Facebook Live as well. And you can always call my office at char.net, C-H-A-R dot N-E-T, Today's show is sponsored by Poshmark, and I just learned about them. And uh, you can, it's high end goods that you can shop in other people's closets, and they can shop in your closet. And like, really, really, like Louis Vuitton bag for over a thousand dollars that you can get for like, I think it was three hundred dollars. I mean, crazy, crazy prices. But, you know, why not recycle things? I mean, they're, they're in good shape and they're quality. And why not? Why spend a zillion dollars when you don't have to? And if you use the code SHARVISION, you get $5 off. So we're going to tell you more about that later as well. But today I have a guest and her name is Nikki Castor. Now, Nikki. Yes. Thank you for being here. I'm happy to be here. Thank you for having me. It's it's really my pleasure. You've got such a nice energy. Thank you. You're so lovely. Thank She's you. very like calming. Like Sunny's already falling asleep. <laughs> <laughs> like I think I'm I'm, I'm you're almost so gentle. I'm I'm kind of falling asleep. It's like you're just so. But you're a healer. Yes. So it's a pleasure to meet you. And and so you're a student of transformation, and you're a holistic healer. So you combine cutting edge research on the brain. What do you do? Wait, you combine cutting edge research on the brain, nervous system, and glandular functioning with proven practices from ancient traditions to deliver the ultimate wellness program for your clients. Really? I do. How do you do all that? I do. Can, I do. So can, I, I, can I just say one thing, though, yes. about you? Because it really moved me that you grew up in, in, in a home of violence and abuse, and you lived on food stamps, mm -hmm. and so you've been through such a difficult time in your world. Yeah, I have. In your world. And, and you took a negative, and you turned it into a positive. I have. Which yep. is what we all need to learn to do. Yeah, it's a, it feels like a, a nicer way to live. Right? It does. It feels lighter. It feels healthier. There's got to be... And you're happy. Yeah, and I'm happy. And it's I'm happy. amazing. Thank you. Did you go to therapy to... Co or no, you actually, just figured it out? Yeah, I, I figured it out myself. That's amazing. Yeah. Because you're a healer, so healer, heal thyself. Yes, exactly. So when my health actually, it, it shut down, and I saw a bunch of doctors and specialists and for all the different symptoms I had going on mm -hmm. and nobody could help. And this went on for years. And so I spent all my time. Like what, what symptoms did you have? Well, Sorry. I had, you know, because I grew up in, in trauma and violence that I had PTSD and I didn't really realize it, but it was, you know, when you operate on survival mode, um, your nervous system becomes shot. It's strained, your adrenals are fatigued. Right. I had chronic migraines every week that were debilitating that, that I missed school, I'd miss work. Um, I couldn't do sound or light. I had, you know, the anxiety, the the arthritis, the autoimmune disease. My skin was really puffy, painful, and broken out. Mm -hmm. uh, I was allergic to everything I was eating. And 
I was very angry. Everything you were eating? Most everything. Most everything. Well, what were you eating? Like wheat and... Just any... I mean, I couldn't, you know, any dairy, any soy, any... Um, whether it was alcohol, like at mm-hmm. some point I couldn't, you know, just stop doing that. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, all the foods were causing an, an allergic reaction. Wow. That, that made me really inflamed inside. But it was just, I was so angry and reactive. Aww. And that I couldn't stand living in my body anymore. Aww. Uh, and then I had to have hip surgery. So I was, I was really... Hip surgery at what age? Uh, this was like 32, 3... Wait, you look like you're 25, so I'm a little confused. I yeah. have no idea how old you are. You yeah. look so young. Thanks. Thank you. Well, do you, I mean. How old are you? Uh, oh, I don't, you okay. don't have to tell us. I mean, I'm, I'm born in 1980. I'm the year of the monkey. I'm, oh, so right. I'm just, I'm 38. You're 38? Yeah. Well, and yep. so, thir- so eight years ago eight. you had. Yeah, it was. So once my health shut down and no doctors could help, I thought this is insane. Like this is literally insane. I saw the, the highest end specialist in Beverly Hills. I saw. Dermatologist. I saw for holistic healer. High end. Um, what kind of doctor? Specialist for um, my, you know, autoimmune disease, arthritis, for migraines, oh, for skin. Right. Um, for nu- I saw nutritionists. Right. But nothing was really, nothing was really happening. I was taking medicine. I was taking a bunch of drops. It was come back every week. Um, and I was doing acupuncture and and all these things that are wonderful. Right. But. I'm thinking, when, where's the end game, and why is nothing getting better? So once, right. once everything was wiped out, I thought, I can't stand living like this anymore. So I, I said, I mean, truthfully, I said, fuck it. I'm going to take matters into my own hands and figure this out. There's mm-hmm. got to be a way to feel better. And so I obsessively started studying the systems of the body, and I took a bunch of different trainings which addressed you know, aspects of healing and health, mm-hmm. and I became just immersed and obsessed with understanding and Mm -hmm. I'm like oh this chronic stress has completely crippled my health and it's imbalanced my nervous system my endocrine system my adrenals my physical body is out of whack and Mm -hmm. so I started to focus on the breathing that's something I could do immediately that could soothe the nervous system breathing meditation mantra breathing is so important right it is your life force it is your once you stop breathing <sighs> that's it right we forget to breathe breathing tony and yes it's 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 energy and it dissolves stress and tension out of the body and that was just one simple aspect and then i started uh you're you know, making I, me yawn oh yeah that, that, you're moving energy I, along you can either because, laugh yawn or no sneeze. no no the only reason i'm doing it because you're i'm breathing and when you really deep breathe yes. you yawn yes not that you're boring at all. I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm breathing. That's amazing. That's amazing. Oh, see ya. Bye. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I, I just started becoming like, I learned tools and practices like repatterning the brain. I became obsessed with n- the neuroscience, the nervous system, like using my body mechanics to capitalize on the chemistry of my health. Mm-hmm. So I basically committed to a daily practice and then incrementally totally transform my health and the way I felt about myself. On your own? On my own. That's amazing. Yeah, I felt like a death and a rebirth. It was... You had a rebirth. Yes. Very Scorpio energy, right? That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, it was beautiful. So that part wasn't. Obviously, there's a lot of sadness that comes along with it. Oh, but, yeah. I, you know, I learned a lot of good tools and techniques. And EFT. the abusive people in your life, did you get rid of them? You know, I look at life and people differently. When you accept what is, things, the dust can settle. And right. then I surrender to a lot of things and just chose, you know, presence, living presently is like one of the greatest gifts ever. Being in the moment, Being right? Being present. Being in the moment. Yeah, because, you know, anxiety or, or stress or trauma is living like, you know, too far in the past. Right from this old story, and I was sick of the story that I was living in. Right. And if you're too far forward, you're still not here. Right. So when you become present and breath can support that, tactile touch can support that, there's a lot of simple basic tools. We're like instruments. Right. Or we're like technology. And when we learn to apply ourselves in ways that feel good and function well, we can, in the present moment, create a new choice Mm -hmm. and respond instead of react. And, you know, behaviors start to change. Beliefs start to change. Mm Mm-hmm. And life is, you know, you're much Do you much feel better. like you lifted a negative energy from you in some way? Like, yeah. Like, 
did an uncrossing or something like it was it was it was heavy and hard and it's and, and, you, know, ha- and you had to change the way you think change yeah it was a, definitely there's mental components that were you know, I used some quick tools to support myself and being present. So what kind of tool? Well, like if I used like a mental tool specifically, if we were talking about one, something that I'm like, okay, when you, you, you know, you're, we actually are the control of our mind. And oftentimes we didn't learn that. Nobody's taught us that. So we have to, like a tool, like an operating system, yeah. become aware of that. Right. And so, you know, one of the, one of the tools <laughs> I use is I bring a happy picture in on demand, like something really joyful really light and peaceful mm-hmm. and I made it a game I make everything more playful in a game oh for that's myself. that's smart and so I think about my dog Taylor she has passed but she is like Aww. the dream loving angel and like always will be right um and I think about her kisses and Aww. her eyes are crossed sometimes when she's close to Aww. me but then I sometimes think about us going to the beach and and walking along the water and yeah. and then running and and you know she's showing off and being tricky and cute and i'm yeah. proud and so if i relive if i can play with these tools right they're they, they're lovely memories they're lovely they do something to the endorphins and they well they're visceral and they give you can regain control of your mind your present mm-hmm. your breathing it's an yeah. immune booster it literally boosts up your immune system because it's positive energy and love that's right and if you like i said viscerally feel it see it and you can play these out. Sometimes it's been my travels, if I've gone, you know, cave tubing or different things. Uh, you went tubing in a cave? I did. It was super cool. Was it really it fun? It was super cool. It was really fun. And then, but nature, nature's a whole other, you know, aspect. But I love adventure. I love nature. And I just yeah. love the innocence of sincerity. It's, and it's so healing it's to be so in nature healing. and grounding. Grounding. Yeah. I think about things. So that's a quick mental tool. Right. Um, but then, you know, there's other tools that can be used uh, through like movement. You can go like movement. Um, well, like, you know. Wait, our, you're a yoga expert. You, wait, there's something I read. You yeah. you do all kinds of, you. wait, you do yoga, hatha yoga, super brain yoga, and kids yoga. And what's EFT? EFT is energy uh, freedom technique, and it's called tapping. And it taps on, it's an evidence-based practice, it's an energy, it taps on the acupressure points, and it uses psychology. So when we've had a trauma, or we have a block, or even, say you want to use it on the flip side to charge and tune into performance and frequency of like feeling abundant, you can tap on these acupressure points, and you have a set... Okay, so let's, yep, let's do, let's do something for everybody. Okay, so let's say, what does everybody get? Maybe a headache once in a while? Headaches are very common. Okay, so let's tap away our headaches. Okay, teach us what okay, to do. Okay, great. So you tap on this karate chop point. And you this can be, karate chop? Yes, and it can be left or right hand, and you can change any time, right? And then you breathe, because your breath is energy flow, and where your energy flows, your health thrives. Do you have a headache, Tony? Tony has a headache. Uh, okay. I'm psychic. I can also, there's also (laughs) acupressure points. Let's do this, but there's acupressure points that I could, you know, manually massage. So even though I have this headache, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. And so we repeat it. So we have a set of phrase. Say that, Tony. So even though I have this, even though I have this headache, I I deeply and completely completely love and accept myself. myself. Yeah. And then as much as you can feel that and tune into that, even though I have this, is it a pulsing headache? Is it, an, does it feel pulsy? Does it feel annoying? Just annoying. Okay. Even though I have this super annoying headache, I deeply love and accept myself. Okay. Then you go right between the brows. <sighs> Take a full breath. Uh, audible exhale out through the mouth. Feel lighter through your shoulders and your jaw. Wait, go, what's audible? What, what do you mean? Uh, audible Breathe through your you, nose? No, audible is just so you can hear your exhale. It's soothing and it releases stress and tension. Feel lighter through your shoulders and your jaw. This headache. This headache? This headache in the front of my head, I feel it. Make me yeah, good. So when you yawn or laugh, when you yawn or laugh, it it's moves healing. energy along. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> it moves energy along. Yeah. Okay. Okay. This headache in the back of my neck. This headache in the back of my head. This headache in the back of my head. <sighs> so annoying. So annoying. Underneath the eye, this headache. This headache. <sighs> maybe it's stress. This, maybe, it's maybe it's worry. Maybe it's worry. <sighs> Whatever it is, it's annoying. Whatever it is, it's annoying. <sighs> 
eye underneath the nose. This headache. This headache. I, can I can let it go. I can feel energy flow through my head. I can, feel the energy flow. I can open up my crown. I can open my crown. This, crown. this crown. This headache. This, headache. this, annoying, pain. this annoying pain. Letting it go. Letting it go. Letting it go. Letting it go. <sighs> Feeling lighter. It can release. I don't have a headache, but I like it. Good. So, so that you can gain benefit even without, without it. So then right. we'll go to the collarbone points. Mm -hmm. This headache. And you can go, so right inside, underneath the collarbone and underneath, there's a kind of a soft spot. Uh -huh. <sighs> Feeling lighter. Letting go. Yeah, please do. Yawn, breathe, let He's it go. He's yawning. Sorry we don't have a camera on Tony right now, guys. Okay. Yeah, the, this, headache. this headache. This headache. This headache. Letting it go. Letting, it Letting go. the energy move. Letting, Letting it feel lighter. Letting it feel lighter. Top of the head. Any, Any, stress. Any stress. Any worry. Any Dissolve. Dissolve. Move. move. Flow. flow. I'll let my energy flow. Let my energy flow. <sighs> Feeling lighter. In my body, safe and calm. All is good. At least right here, right now. I'm here right now. Wow. I love that whole thing you do. Good. Good. It's wonderful. Okay, how do you feel? I, I, it's still there, but it's a lot lighter. Good. Than it was. So that's the thing. Oh, see? So we could do it again. So what happens is you want to label it like one to 10, 10 being the most uh, annoying or intense, right? And then, so if you gave it a number, say it was a seven. And now, is it like at a three? It was only at a three anyway. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but see, you're being healed and you're you're moving the energy, she said, when you yawn yeah, and when you laugh. It's very true. It breaks up energy. So if you think about it, you know, when you go and Is like, that called EFT? That is EFT, what we just did. That's a very brief version, but that's EFT. So you I wonder if like everybody at home is doing this. We can do more. There's plenty what, more. Okay, what's another one? Let's do one more. What's a, what's another thing that people get a lot that, well, it's flu season. Flu and anxiety. And flu and oh, anxiety. yeah, anxiety. Okay, so, so which flu, would, flu, I, for flu, what I would do is boost up the immune system. So uh, you, we have a condensed amount of lymph nodes. Sunny. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. We have a, yeah, for, for okay. the immune system, you can actually do use other tools. Okay, so what about... Um, Oh, okay, for our immune system, okay, what, give us a couple tools for the immune system, and then let's do anxiety real quick. Yeah, and then I would say stress relief is the other huge one that I work stress a lot Stress relief. Of, with a lot of executives on. Okay, let's do, okay, first, what's the flu thing? Okay, so when you, your immune system is stressed, so nine, let me just say this, 90% of the reason people go to the doctors or the hospitals due to stress. So stress wreaks havoc on the body and right. imbalances the systems of the health, and right. one of them being the immune system. Right. So stress relief isn't re really a matter of like, oh, it's a kind of a cool idea, and it's sometimes it's imperative and vital to do something that feels good in order to support and sustain yourself for a lifetime, right? Okay. So one of the things you can do is to boost up the immune system. We have a condensed amount of lymph nodes. Uh huh. So I do a whole little uh, twisting and tapping thing that, that goes along the meridians and taps on um, acupressure points, kind of like a Qigong warm up. Oh. And I could show you that, and it takes right here. The problem is the oh, camera is, we're okay. not a fancy place. <laughs> we only can see you right there. You know what, it's fancy. It's fancy here. Okay, thank so you. So let me just say this. I would go, <laughs> let's do something that you can feel immediately. Okay. So let's take our hands on the back of the neck, and even if you have one hand. Okay. And if you want to close your eyes, and the back of the neck and head is your brain stem. Is this for stress or is yeah, this? Yeah, so this okay. is going to, you're going to start Okay, to everybody at home do this. Yeah, taking your hands, the back of the Put head. Put your the hands neck. in the back of your neck. Yeah, uh -huh, and you can massage along the neck and the shoulders and just calmly breathe in through the nose, fill up the belly and the back. Yes, long, audible exhale. Oh, this is really good. So what's happening is when people <laughs> breathe, shallow or short, it causes muscle tension and stiffness. And so what we're dissolving is stress and tension out of the body. Take another breath. Stress and tension. Go away, stress yeah. and tension. And when you're tuned in, you start to feel your body tingle. So get your shoulders. Shoulders. Yeah, a little tingly. And it transforms the stress wow. and tension into energy flow. So when you start feeling tingling down your legs, and all you do is massage, right? Yeah. Massage, breathe. And this transformation of stress and tension into energy flow, you feel the chi, the vitality, the tingling down the legs. Mm -hmm. It changes your state. And when you change your state, we know that we create from this place of perception, right? where we're at, how we're feeling. 
So if you're starting to feel like you're charged and you're going too fast and you're running too quick and you want a quick refresher, yeah, you can manually massage. It's a concrete way to express not only self-love, right, but when your many people's hands are, they're so healing, right? It's a nice way to transform and change your state immediately. Wow, your physiology. And then, right, if you are feeling lighter and more present, then this is a place that not only are you tuned into that frequency, but you are feeling more like you can respond instead of react, like well, life is okay. You work with a lot of um, business people. I do. Like, so how do people get a hold of you? I do Website, you a, referrals, what, What's your number, website? <laughs> my phone number. What's, what's your phone number? Okay, yeah, my phone number is... For a good time, call. No, just te- <laughs> just ki- just teasing, just kidding. <laughs> Nick, Nikki no. Caster. No, just te- just kidding. That's hilarious. I like your humor though. It's hilarious. Thank you. Thank That's you. hilarious. Uh, yeah. So it is. So or or email. So Nikki N I K K I period Caster C A S T E R at uh-huh. gmail dot com. Okay. N I K K I C A S T E R at gmail.com. Yes. That's good. If you want to give your number, you can. Yeah. But if you don't want to, you don't have to. Yeah. I wonder if that's a wise. Okay. Yeah. I no. Should... Email's perfect. Yeah. Nikki Caster at gmail.com. Okay. So then what is, what is, wait, Kundalini yes. yoga. Phenomenal. Hatha yoga. Super brain yoga. Yes. What's yes. the difference? Okay, so Kundalini Yoga is phenomenal. It focuses on the nervous system and the glandular system. Oh. It's phenomenal, right? Really? Phenomenal. It opens your whole body yes. up. Yes, it opens a whole body. It supports energy flow up and down your spine, which really, like, it's a cosmic spine, right? We're right. channeling energy. It supports the our health and the way we feel about ourselves, and oh. it's a really wonderful healing. So okay. The, so then Super Brain Yoga brings, capitalizes on bringing so what you do in a simple version, I would be standing up, but you take your ears. I don't know if you notice, but if you look at your ears in the mirror, they're yeah. like an inverted fetus, an inverted fetus. Oh. And so the bottom of the earlobe, so your the right side of your body communicates to the left brain. Right side of your body communicates to the left brain. Okay. okay. So this is a, I would be standing, but then. And which I put, is the intuitive brain? The right. But they both need to be oh. working together. Okay. They both need to be a whole, whole brain. Okay. Whole brain. Um, and then you would cross like this. So basically, I've stimulated the hemispheres of both brains. So I'm myelinating my corpus callosum. Okay. Strengthening cognitive function. Wow. And I'm bringing my energy whole. So it's not just on one. I'm balancing the hemispheres of my brain. So I would be standing. And basically, all I do is I'm just going to do it right here because I can. So I'd be, I'm going to try to stay in. You, you inhale and then you exhale. Oh. And so I'm going to pick the number nine. Okay, nine. It, right? So we go. Inhale, exhale. And the tongue is at the roof of my mouth, very uh-huh. relaxed. Inhale, exhale. So then when I'm done, so say I did that nine times, 11 times, the blood has come to the frontal part of the lobes, mm-hmm. which is the most advanced part of the brain. Mm-hmm. And it supports perception, cognitive function. Mm-hmm. Both hemispheres are awake. Mm-hmm. And so the mind-body communicates with greater ease. That's super brain yoga. Wow. So Kundalini is all about, again, the nervous system and the glandular system. You use your body as an instrument. Why did I think it's a sexual thing? You know what? You're right. Because there is there is that whole Kama, su- Kama Sutra, like right. Kundalini. Um, it is very transformative in energy. And so I could see there there's a there's a connection. But there's that's a not connection, what this but is. that's not what it really that's is. That's not what Kundalini yoga is. People or just try to make sex out of everything. Hey, and sex is great and healthy right. if it's loving and you right. know, with, you know right. positive and all that. Jazz. So the so Kundalini yoga does the spine. It's through the spine. You do movements. Your body really is an instrument or you can look at yourself like technology. Right. And you are that. So breath, movement. Right. Um, and how to get the energy flowing up and down the spine. Right. And help, it's healthy for all the chakras. Right. It's healthy for the nervous system, the glandular system. And then, you know, you do have a meditation with it. Oh, that's nice. It's I think beautiful. mind, body, spirit is so important. It's beautiful. I do yoga every morning. Nice. My sister gave me papers. I don't know what kind of yoga it is. Great. But I follow these papers every single morning and I do my meditation and my prayers. That's wonderful. So... I get what you're saying. That's right. It, it really balances me out. So there, there really is truth to it. And there's a lot of forms of meditation, and they're all wonderful. That's what's 
And what's Hatha yoga? Hatha yoga is is another form of yoga, and it's more static uh, positions or flow. Um, you know, it's not vinyasa, but it's still body positions that are moving energy along in a way that is grounding, mm-hmm. depending on the body position. Um, it can get a, still the energy. Do you f- teach this? I, I do. I, I work with my clients and integrate all aspects. And so what, who, someone who needed super brain yoga, what would they need? Why would they need that? Oh, it's wonderful. They, you know, they use it uh, for kids in school with ADHD, ADD. Oh, really? It's beautiful. They use it for, you know, you know, I worked at a senior center for a while just because I like, you know, oh, older people. Oh, are you sweet? Yeah. Well, do you like me then? I, <laughs> <laughs> I like you anyways. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it it's wonderful to have, you know, this this memory, this this brain communication uh-huh. working for you. But it helps for executives. It helps for all of us. It helps for I've worked with athletes. It helps for performance to get really, you know, more centered. Mm-hmm. Um, so it, it's so it's really good. It's very good for, for everybody, whether you're going to go out and perform well, and, you know, have a. What about dieting? What about food? Not dieting, but the right kinds of food. Sure. It's important. And. You know, all these things, I get it can feel overwhelming, but if you start to, you know, a lot of people are like, what should I take or do? I think, to be honest, it's what should I remove, you know? Oh, right. What should I remove first, you know? And and then you can involve with... Start with sugar. Sugar, you know, the the alcohol, the dairy, those, to be honest, I get, have it in in normal quantities, quantities, but what happens is none of those, they're all inflammatory. But they say goat cheese is better. It is better. For, you know, everybody should get have listen be able to listen to their body right and how it responds because we right. all know that some people respond better to certain things right you know but in in this removal technology is also an aspect and part yeah. of it right right when to turn off the phone when to put it on you know airplane mode mm-hmm. um, yeah I really believe we should turn our phones off yeah. at night except if what if there's an emergency and someone needs you that's yeah. the hard part you know what though I lived like that too long my whole life my yeah. parents being you know a lot of things right it's right. not a way to live no it's not um, it's not and um, you know to be honest the phones have a frequency that's it's it's almost like having a microwave next to you that right. it, it it changes your energy and science is showing that more and more being able mm-hmm. to prove that but anybody in the energy field knows that right right um, i get that so be, putting it on airplane mode at least is helpful mm-hmm. um yeah and of course so as far as diet and nutrition it supports the way you feel Especially even water, just hydrating. It's water is so important. So water is. I'm. I, I'm. A, I'm in love with water. I'm in love with all these elements. Isn't it nice? It's beautiful. We not only do we bathe in it and we drink it. We are made of mostly water, at least sixty right. percent. So we need it in order to feel well and to function well and to give us more energy. I mean, that's. Do a you whole... know about Emoto's? Yes. About I do. water. Yes. So that's it. So when you say, the things that you say literally change you on a cellular level. Yes. Your physiology, your psychology, and, and to be honest, right. in the same thing, you're looping and programming. Mm-hmm. You're programming yourself. Mm-hmm. So each day and each now, we have a new So moment. the water changes the with water how changes. you're thinking and motivated. Feeling, uh, that your quiet self-talk, the things that you choose to say, your, your you know, the mm-hmm. music you listen to, the things you watch. You, you're all influenced, but you, what it, the point of this is we are so powerful and we can influence ourselves. It's, that's it's, what we were never taught. And that's what I That's get what you learned about. to do on your own. Yes. And now you're helping others with yes, it. Yes. We have, you know, too many blocks that we are inherently learned um, from family. Also, we lived in a whole different era. Right. Um, but, you know, whether it's religion or man, woman or whatever the case may be, we learned how to feel and think about ourselves based off of the response we got from family, environment, or the lack of. Right. And so now it's about, you know, we're trying to fit in and, and we're trying to connect. Everybody's trying to connect, right? And so this is a place of like, okay, we're living in a different time. And how can we influence ourselves? And how can we approve of ourselves? Right. How can we remove these blocks and yep. feel safe Feel safe to look at them? Right. And, you know... And you help people do that. Yeah. And how can people get a hold of you? Nikki Castor. I would say that's the that's the best. I will go with the email. Nikki Castor. N i k k i period Castor C a s t e r at gmail dot com. Wait. So it's Nikki Castor dot. Oh yeah. No. It's, oh, it's N- Nikki and then a dot or a period. Nikki. Okay. Wait. We got to do this right, kids. Nick, do you have this up on the screen, honey? Thank you. N i k k i 
dot c a s t e r at gmail dot com. Yes. Thank you so much for being here. Thank You're just you. delightful, Thank and you. we learned a lot today. And you got rid of Tony's headache. <laughs> and and I I I appreciate your energy because you're you. really really lovely Thank and you, you. And Sonny loves it too because he's sound Sonny's asleep. Such a lover, Thank you. such a sweet love. Thank you so much. Okay, yeah. you guys, I'm going to be doing reading, so don't go away. And you are going to learn about Poshmark now. Tony, take it away. <laughs> I just found out about this app called Poshmark, and you can shop high end goods for all up to seventy percent off. There's old jeans. Who doesn't love old jeans with holes in them? People are paying thousands of dollars for those now. It's like shopping in someone else's closet and they can shop in your closet. There's things for men, women, and children. There was a, a Louis Vuitton bag that was over $1,000 because I Googled it that you can get for $300. So my suggestion is go to Poshmark and if you tell them Char Vision, you get $5 off. Let's go shopping. Hey everybody, you probably think I only do individual readings, but sometimes I get a message for everybody. And I wrote a poem that was channeled through me, and I'd like to read it to you. It's called Until We Meet Again by Shar Margolis, A Message from Heaven. My work is done, it's time to leave. Know that I am also missing you as you grieve. I completed my karma on the earth, and now it is time for my rebirth. I'm flying with eagles and dancing on stars. Please know that I haven't gone far. The love we have will carry us through until the day I am again with you. What an amazing journey this passing over can be. I am in good company. I know you hurt, but please trust me. Our journey together is for eternity. So until the day our souls reunite, stay peaceful and well, and use your spirit sight. I will bring you signs from up above, a butterfly, a bird, my sign of love. Don't worry about me, I'm in good hands. Stay strong, stay positive, and continue to pray. When it is your natural day to graduate from the earth, look for me in the bright white light. We have completed our purpose, and all will be right. This is handmade. It's signed by me. It's an affordable gift for any occasion. Just go to Shar.net and click on Store. Thank Hi, you. Hi, everybody. It's Shar. Well, many of you have asked if I teach psychic intuition, and I do. Everybody has a sixth sense. Everybody has an ability to prevent problems and attain goals in their lives. And I'd love to teach you. Just go to char.net, C-H-A-R-N-E-T, and join one of my classes. And call Nikki, and she'll help you out. Remember, intuition will take you places logic never could. Hey, everybody. You probably think I only do... Okay, we're back. And um, I am going... I if you're hearing these echoes, we're trying to get our sound together so I can read for somebody. Okay, so whoever I'm reading for, please just be open-minded about everybody, living and deceased and their names and their... Um, and if two people share the same name or initial, you let me know. And I'm just going to say a quick anything in, near, around, or about us that is not of light, go back to where you came from. You are not welcome around us. Okay. Okay. 773. 773. Hi. Hello. Hi, how are you? Hi. Great, how are you? I'm good. Thank you so much for calling in. Um, so I see, I, I always see like M's around people for some reason. I, I'm not every person, but I, I'm seeing like an M or A person. Um, M, I mean, we have a last name M. Okay. And I, I actually, I... I have a first name M for a, a grandparent. Yeah, I was going to say, is it your grandmother? Yes. And is she is she M with an R in her name? Yes. Like a Mary or Margaret. Second one, Margaret. Yes. Margaret. Yeah, I feel like she's around you, and I'm also getting. Uh, is there somebody who's uh, Joseph or J, J James? 
or John. It's a J, but uh, a, it's it's not a a male name. It's a female J with an N in her name. Yes, like yes. a Joan or Joanne or Josephine or Jean or something like this. Close. Jan. You want me to tell you? Yeah. Jan. Janet. Jan. Janet. Jan. Yeah. Who is that? My mom. And she's deceased, right? Yes. Yeah, she's here. Yeah, I hear the sounds because I hear phonetically when I read. So it's the J with the N in it. Jan, uh -huh. Janet's here. Yeah, she's. Um, she wants you to know she's uh, helping you out. Were you worried about your health for some reason? Uh, I have had like a kind of a, uh, a nagging little pain that I'm wondering about if it's anything to worry about. Yeah, she's saying that you'll be fine. Like she's saying, okay, and she's also like very much with you. But why did she ever use a cane? No. Who used a cane? Somebody's here that used a cane. Um, my my uh, my husband's grandmother used a cane. Yeah, maybe she's she's not an M or A though, right? Uh, no. No. Okay. I don't know who this is. I don't know who this I is. I do know someone else with, with, you know, the first name that you said, Margaret. I know someone living named Margaret who uses a cane. Who is that? Uh, that's my godmother. Your godmother. Okay. I feel like they, your mom is saying that, the, and was your mom close to the God, Margaret, the godmother? Yes. Yeah. Yes, she's, they're well. saying they need to keep an eye on her health or her walking. Like, okay, like that she does. Did she fall? No, I don't think okay. so. Just to keep to make sure like when that she uses her cane. It's important that she doesn't okay. try to use not use the cane. Anyway, thank you so much for calling. I, 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 I don't know why, but I, I can't hang up yet. There's something about a man. Did you have a question about a man? No, I just, I really wanted to hear from my mom. Your I, mom, I okay. I really struggled with Okay, well, with she's she's boss. with she's with a man, so it might be, so Jan's with a man, so maybe that's your dad or somebody, but there's a man. There's a man. He's still alive. Okay, then it's maybe her dad. I don't know. There's a man with your... It could be her dad. Yeah, yeah. And there, do you know William or Walter? Uh, my... Um... Grandpa? Oh, no, um, but my my husband's uh, grandfather was Vasily, but his uh, nickname in English was was uh, Bill. Bill. And I actually have called into you before, and you mentioned that name. Yeah, before. that. Well, he must. You know, Squeaky Will gets the grease. He must be here, wanting to mention the, about the man. Anyway. You're a sweetheart. Thank you for calling, and I'm glad your mom is with you. She's gonna she's gonna celebrate the holidays with you. Thanksgiving, Christmas. She's she's there. Is there any any advice you can give me? I, I can't I right now because I can't right now because we need to go on. You're welcome to call Shar.net and make a short appointment or something if you want. But I need to move on for the next caller. I'm sorry. Okay, bye bye. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. 951. Hello? Oh, that's me. <laughs> Hi, how are you? <laughs> I'm good, thank you. I got through. I'm okay. happy you got through. So just now think on your feet, please, because I, I want to make sure I get everything. Is there an S or C person around you? S or C? Or K or C? Last name's C. Last name's K? Last name's C. A C. Is that your last name or your mom's? Uh, my mom. And is she deceased? She's not, but the other, the rest of the family is. Is, yes. is her husband deceased? He is, yes. I think I, it might be your dad that's around here. And there's somebody that's an R or J, R or J. R or R or B uh, or R or B. B is that a uh, male? Is that is your dad a B? Father's brother. His brother is My, it? Is it B B with an R in the name? It or, is. It like he just recently passed. Is it B E R or B R? 
or Robert BR, Bob. BR. Uh, I'll, I'll, can I just tell you? It is BR. Like, Bruce. is it like Bruce or? Yes. I, okay. Okay. I I feel like he he just passed. Is what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah. Very recently. I feel like, and your dad's deceased, right? Correct. I feel like your dad's here saying he met your 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 uncle, like he met his brother, and that the whole yeah. family gathered and had a celebration. They we they, did, and we rarely see each other. So yeah, well, very... that I'm just saying. Sometimes when we meet in heaven, there's forgiveness and connections, but that's what I'm getting. I I don't have much to do with it. I can only tell you what I get. <laughs> You know, people. Well, it's funny. It's like you were there with us. People, people, a lot of people have to yeah. learn how to forgive. Yeah. 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 And very, very who's correct. who's Frank? Frank or Fred or F? That I don't. Um, you don't know. F. Maybe it's for my yeah, next I caller. Don't know it. That's okay. That's okay. It might be for my next caller. Thank you so much for calling. It could be. Take good You're care. Welcome. Okay. Bye uh-huh. bye. Okay. Let's. Hi. Hello. 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 Hi. Hi. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. You're not the person that has like a Fred or Frank or F initial person, do you? No, I don't. Okay. Because this like, this is the, this is around me, but I don't know. I, 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 I. I do. My mom. Is she, does she start with an F? Yes. Is it F with an R in it or an L? Um, both. Is it like Florence? Yes. Is that her name? That is. Her name is Florence. Yeah. She, her name she, is Florence. She, she popped in at my other reading. I knew it was an F person, but I didn't know. So your mom is with you. And... Um, and what did you take care of her when she was older? Yes. Yeah, did did she stay with you or did you stay at her house yes. or Yeah, because she, she's saying She stayed with me. Yeah, she's saying you worked very hard to you gave up a lot of your own freedom to take care of your mom. It's true, isn't it? Okay. And she's great. I, I don't look that way. She's grateful to you. But you wanted to do it, right? Of course. You're a good woman. That's sweet. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, and she, she, she. I feel like she's come to you in a dream that's very real. Do you know when she comes to visit you? I have no idea. Are you not sleeping? No, not well. Yeah, you need to work on your sleep patterns and your health. Did you also have a health issue? Yes. Yes? Yes, uh, yes. Are you worried about your health? A little. I feel like you can control it, but I feel like you need to find somebody who knows how to help give you energy or help with the healing process. Are you getting other opinions? Are you getting other opinions? Um, and you, yes, al- you yes, also, I you am. need to get other opinions. Somebody's going to help you. I feel this, but I also feel like you need to learn to sleep. And then when you'll get in, you'll be able to dream. And then you'll be able to remember when your mom comes, when it's very vivid in your dream that she's visiting you. I would love that. You would like that, right? Right. Nobody loves us like our mamas, right? That is very true. It's so true. Well, thank you so much for calling. Just know that she's with you. And I, you know what, as the holidays come around, I always feel like when I pick up on the loved ones, I know that they just want you to know that they're there with you and going to hang out with you. And I feel like you'll get your and, energy back. Yeah. And by the way, so you usually read for me. And um, where, it's Marcy. Where, wait, and where, where do I'm I read for you? You usually read on the phone for me from for like twelve years. Oh my god! More. Thank you so much. And I love you. And I'm an artist, and I do really funky paintings. If your assistant 
could tell me where to send one to, I would love to give one to you. Are you kind? Oh, my God, that would be such an honor. That's so lovely. Just go to char.net, C-H-A-R dot N-E-T, and Nikki will help you out. That's so sweet. Okay, and great. thank you so much for supporting my work. And I, I, I will always do my best to help you. Always. Okay, you okay. always do. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much. God bless you. Be okay. well. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh, that's so sweet. 12 years. You think that's a long time? I've got people who've been coming for 40 years, over 40 years. Wow. And you're going to say, 40 years? You don't even look that old. <laughs> I know. I'm teasing. Okay, let's let's get one more caller in. Okay. 626. Hi. How you doing? I'm good, thank you. That's good. What, why am I feeling, is there, is, do you have a romance in your world right now? Uh, I don't know. Or, or <laughs> is, maybe. <laughs> is it, or is it not, you're just not sure about somebody. Is that it? A guy? Yeah. 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 I'm not sure about him either. <laughs> I feel like he's okay. not, I feel like he's not like. Uh, attentive enough to you. Yeah. And I feel like you're at, I feel like you're available for him and he doesn't appreciate it. (laughs) Is that true? (laughs) Yeah. You know, you gotta like, the first true love is self-love. It doesn't mean you're selfish. It just means your needs matter. And I just feel like he, you, you need... I don't want you to be so desperate that you think you have to have someone in your, in your life that you can't be on your own. Mm-hmm. And I feel like he's not giving, is there another woman in his life? I have no idea. <laughs> you don't know what he's doing or where he's going. And, and uh, like, who's, mm-hmm. who's Robert or Richard or R? Um, R. Or, or R or B like Bob or Robert or. I have a cousin that's living named Robert. No, maybe, maybe not. Is there also someone that's a C or S? Um, I don't know where I'm where I'm going. Is there a last name with a C or an S? Mm-hmm. Is this guy's um, last name an S or C? No. No. Okay, I'm not tuned into him, or and and uh, an M. I'm getting. I'm mixed up about this. I'm I'm mixed up about this. Mm-hmm. I just feel like there's going to be another guy around your world. Okay. I, and I feel like you're. I feel like you get disappointed too much with this guy. Is that true? Yeah. Who's the M or S around you or? Um. Do you have family like I'm this? Not, Did you have a grandma I like mean, mother? Oh, an M. Yeah, my grandmother is an M. Is she M with an R in her name? That's her last name. That's her initials. Her initials are M R. And uh-huh. is, is there an A in her first name, like M A, or M I? Uh-huh. M A, like uh-huh. May or M- May or Mary or Mar- it's Marie. Marie. Uh huh. Yeah. Mary Marie. Mm-hmm. She's saying you need you deserve someone better. <laughs> she would say that. <laughs> she wants you. Yeah, she's in her kitchen. She's in her kitchen. Oh my goodness! Of course she is. That's where you used to spend uh, your time with her. Uh huh. And she oh. used to make things with her in her kitchen, or she mm. would get yeah. too busy at doing something and cooking or baking or something with her in her kitchen. And she had flowers. Mm-hmm. She, she has flowers. A flower dress or a flower apron. Mm. You don't she's remember. Just very pink and floral in general. Floral what? She's just pink and florally in general. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyway, she loves you, and and mm. and either this guy's going to shape up or you're going to ship him out. Yeah. You okay. deserve better. <laughs> you deserve better. Huh? You deserve oh, better. Thank you. Okay. thank you for calling. All right, thank you. Bye, sweetheart. 
Mm, bye. Okay, everybody. That's it for Shar Vision today. But we will be back live next Friday. And I will be interviewing somebody, not sure who yet. And I will do some more call-ins. So I want everybody to take good care of yourself. And I also want to send extra prayers out to the people who were affected by the shooting in Thousand Oaks at the bar and also the, the wildfires in California. It's, it's just not good. So we really got to send our positive energies out by our friend Dorothy Lucy, who introduced me to Tony to, to, and, and to be able to do Char Vision. She was just evacuated. So our prayers are going out to, to you, Dorothy, and everybody else. Okay, just remember, everybody, intuition will take you places logic never could. And look up Poshmark. You might like it. Take care. Bye-bye.